Good morning, everyone. All right, let's check levels. Say howdy if you can hear me. Hi, Ingrid and Jackie and Leticia and Kelly. Javelin and Russ? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I'll stop the romper room. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Happy Sunday. Time for brunch. Hey, Darlene, Katie. Yay! All right. It is a nice and sunny day here in Frederick. Some clouds, but not not like dreary clouds. So it's a pretty day. I'm looking forward to sewing with everyone and chatting with everyone. Hi, MJ. And Landa. If you have brought a project that you're working on, let me know what you're up to. Uh, if you are just having a cup of joe and hanging out with us, that is perfectly fine too. Sounds wonderfully relaxing. <laughs> I think it's uh, time for hot cocoa. I'm just about, it's going to be a cool one this week. So I think we might officially be into real fall here in, in Maryland finally. And then uh, you say that in the next week will be like in the 90s. So, <laughs> hey, Shelly. Hi, good morning, Stephanie. So, oh, oh. Stephanie being here, uh, today the Postal Service God smiled down upon me and I received not only Clue 10 for Village Green, but I also received Stephanie's holiday box, uh, project box, today on my doorstep on Sunday morning. I was not expecting that. They both said that they weren't going to be here until Monday. So I'm excited. <laughs> I got them both today. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Lauren's trying to... Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I am doing, a, a, through an app, I'm learning uh, American Sign Language. And Lauren and I both know um, finger, letter, like lettering through, with our fingers. But Lauren moved so fast, <laughs> so I wasn't sure what they were saying. <laughs> I did get mail on a Sunday. It was so weird. Yes, the sweatshirt. Yay! Blockheads. I am uh, not keeping up, but I got swag. <laughs> I'm a good marketing tool for it. Oh, excellent. Hi, Terry. MJ's putting the border on her two color uh, uh, challenge. Uh, quilt. Everybody has been incredible with the, what they're what they're sending the the borders that they're doing or the the awesome sashings that they're doing. Uh, I'm very 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 excited for not this coming Tuesday, but the 21st is the the final parade of two color quilt challenge. I'm very very much looking forward to sharing everybody's work um, and thankful for everyone who sent us the emails and who has shared in Together We Sew, which is, uh, Together We Sew is Stephanie of Quilting with Stephanie Stitches. Together We Sew is the Facebook group for like all of her retreaters and everything, and is kind of our gathering place to, to show off both the cotton cut stuff that we're working on, the two color quilt challenge. Um, I'm sure the New York beauty stuff will be shared there too. Uh, we've, we've, um, like formed quite the little community over there. So it's, it's really exciting. And you don't have to have gone to um, a, an actual physical Stephanie Stitches retreat to, uh, to join in on the fun. You just wanna, you wanna know more about the retreats and then see the madness <laughs> of the people that are, have gone to a retreat, what they're, what they're doing. <laughs> but you will hear about uh, upcoming retreat activities there in Together We Sew. So it's a good spot to go for information too. Hi, Charlotte. Excellent. 
Kathleen. I think I said hi, Kelly. Hey, Tangle. Tangle Zest. It's Tangle time. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, okay. So this morning I am going to work a bit. So I'm. I may. I may uh, go off on a tangent, like a little later into today's so, because I'm really close to being done with building blocks. So I might work on some building blocks as well. Uh, I've got the first two blocks and I have everything cut for the, the, the last two blocks. But uh, for the most part, I'm gonna be working on, and I'm gonna switch cameras so, so I can show you, well, I'll show you up here first. I'm gonna be working on the 4S collaboration. If you haven't heard about the 4S collaboration, this is a uh, brainchild of Sean from The Guy Who Sews with myself, Stephanie, Quilting with Stephanie Stitches, Stephen Bland of Bland Designs and the Idiot Quilter. The four of us chose three patterns that we would like to do, three patterns each that we would like to do ourselves, ones that have, have intrigued us, have, have kind of been like on our to-do list, but we hadn't gotten to yet. And then we asked everybody in viewer land to vote for which one of the three patterns you would like the four of us to do. So it's the 4S challenge because it's Sean and Stephanie and Shannon and Steven. Kind of lended itself to that title. <laughs> and the, the pattern that everyone picked for me is the Art Deco Tiles, which is by a pattern designer called Exhausted Octopus. Her name is Allie. Yes, Allie. Uh, and uh, Stephanie got an Art East uh, studios, our quilting company, uh, the Puffins, which is gorgeous. And Sean got, uh, was it, fa is he doing the food or the, fa oh, I really should have read up before, <laughs> before I started talking about it. Uh, Sean got one <laughs> and Steven got one. Steven got the cats, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and Sean got either the, the food or the, the farm animals. Can't remember which one now. Uh, Stephanie or Russ or Sean, if you pop in, remind me. <laughs> uh, so that's what I'm going to be working on today. I'm going to work on a couple. I have three of the block patterns cut out and ready to go for today. Uh, I'm almost finished with the first one, so uh, I'll have four blocks. If I get through those four blocks, uh, I will go to working on building blocks by Legit Kits, which we started last week, uh, and and finish that one up because I have some ideas of what I want to turn it into. I'm, th I'm thinking about adding some borders uh, and make it um, a little more substantial to show kind of the the flexibility of these patterns and make it into. Uh, maybe like a, a table, a little little mini table runner uh, for like Thanksgiving because I'm using very, very pumpkin-y fall colors. Um, it's the harvesting edition from Art Gallery Fabrics. So very fall, very uh, Thanksgiving-y. Uh, so, and I think that'll be a fun way to show quilt stores what are things people can do with these class projects that aren't super big. So that's the goal for that. I think it's the animals too. Yes. Okay. Stephanie said, yep. Yep. The farm. Oh, she was. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I'd be fangirling. I'm a goof. I, I really have enjoyed. She does. Um, so this art deco tile that Allie from Exhausted Octopus does is, and I'm going to switch cameras so I can start getting to work. Um, there we go. Um, is the only thing that I've seen Art Deco-y by her, but she does some amazing uh, monochromatic sort of, sort of pixely, um, excuse me, sir, cat scratching <laughs> right next to me. So if you can hear that, I apologize. He's having a good time though. Uh, better that than my furniture. So there we go. Uh, but yeah, so she, she does this really cool mosaic kind of pixely, uh, but not in just two and a half inch square kind of things, but, um, and in the, the, the monochromatic, like she did a picture of herself 
uh, in all greens that she, it was like a pickle, <laughs> like her pickle, her pickle pose. <laughs> and I think she did that same picture in purple or blue. I don't know. It's really neat, but she's done some classes on that, that style that, that she's doing, which is pretty cool. Um, and she, she shows you how to take a picture and colorize the picture so that you have, um, kind of a, a foundation to follow. I don't know. It's neat. I just think she's cool. So, <laughs> start sewing. <laughs> hey now, I enjoy chitty chatting too. <laughs> so I got this one about this far done. Uh, I think last week. Not on, not on a live or anything, but uh, as I was working on it when I was down here, I think we were watching probably Great British Baking Show. Uh, so I'm gonna finish this this guy up um, it turned into a Christmas project because I'd started with with red and green and it was just serendipitous that it turned into a Christmas project I'm using the uh, the tree of life card from cotton cuts that came in clue 10 today <laughs> as my uh, folder Holding aid. Did I miss? Did anyone talk about Fab Farm? That's that's what the name of it is. Talk about uh, if they're working on any projects. I apologize if I missed that, as I've been yammering. The nice weather makes me giddy, so I talk a lot. <laughs> This uh, line of fabrics is from Vienco, uh, which is an ombre flurries. So it has the, um, the, the gold uh, uh, snowflakes and little like holly berries, I guess, or I don't know, maybe they're little baby snowflakes. Uh, but it's really, I love it. It's so pretty makes me happy so it's gonna it's gonna turn out gorgeous all right so i need a black strip Oh my gosh, you're right, Ingrid. It will, it will, yes. It will, I mean, it would, that was the inspiration for the, the fabric pick, but I wasn't even thinking that I could hang them and I could hang this and have the table runner at the same time and make my dining room really super festive. Ah, oh, that's nice. Uh, the building blocks for, from last week, it is, uh, Art Gallery Fabrics, their Harvesting Edition, uh, all solids in really fun oranges. I could actually just get that started. Um, and these fun orangey, like earthy browns. Some of the colors that this harvesting collection has in it and yeah I like it a lot the the kit that comes with it is fine it just has a, a like a focal of pink and pink is has never been my jam so I like to change it up a little bit saying hey Shelly s yes yes I did um, so what I what we mm -hmm. um, yes and I started typing up the email to you last night um, and had had some feelings <laughs> so Shelly I will I will re uh, rework on the email to you <laughs> this evening 
uh, to let you know the the ins and outs of what was talked about and what was decided. And yeah. Yes. Very cryptic, sorry, but but yeah, I will I will finish the email for you today so that you you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah, these fall colors are just really very much more in my in my wheelhouse kind of really what I like and I'm gonna add because it's the, the like a four block one so like hazy hills is four blocks but horizontal and building blocks is four blocks but vertical I want to add some borders to it uh, make it just kind of like a, a centerpiece table runner uh, to give them some ideas of what you know you can turn these things into they don't just have to be a wall hanging um, I want to I'm gonna do the uh, the little flamingo head I'm gonna do a couple more of those and then turn those panels into um, like the outside pockets of a canvas bag uh, like a beach bag um, so to also give some ideas of the things you can do other than, you know, just like a, a mug rug <laughs> or a, a hot pad or something. So that's the plan. Show some, some variety. And I keep wanting to say resilience, but that is not the word that I mean. Um, and I, I really just can't think of the word what I'm, that I'm trying to think of. But that, that's the question I got a lot showing off that uh, flamingo head was, well, what are we supposed to do with that? <laughs> so I want to be able to show them because talking about what you can do with that one block is one thing, but actually giving them a look at a project that they can then start springboarding from, that's going to be, that's going to be, I think, the, the better sell. And just saying, whatever you want, seems like such a cop-out. <laughs> You're very welcome, Shelly. Where'd my tree of life go? Ooh, I saw in uh, Cotton Cuts, their Facebook group today, I saw someone finished the daffodil in a small, so it'll be, it'll look like my, mine. Um, I was really excited to see it together. It's so cute with the little bears <laughs> and, and Goldilocks running around. I'm, I'm very pleased with how that turned out. So it makes me even more excited to finish mine. Just trimming up the extra fabric a bit. Boop. Lining up the next block of color, which is the background white. And I cut it in a really big rectangle um, so I could use it for both sides. So this is definitely covering on this side and I should be able to use it for the mirror side of it.
it's not happy about <clears throat> how thick the, uh, there we go, where the, all the points come together. There's so much thread and fabric down at the, the little point. So I do talk an awful lot about starting with what you have, starting with where you are in your sewing quilting journey. Uh, but these, these types of things, as you're working into more and more advanced patterns of where all of this uh, radiating lines, they're all coming together down here. This is where when you hear people talk about the thread thickness that you use, uh, the stitch length that you use, the how you trim an eighth or a quarter of an inch. Those are the types of things that start to, to matter a little bit more as you're moving through your journey. So an 80 weight thread um, helps in, in this. Every little bit kind of helps when it starts to, to build up like that. But this is not insurmountable with a 50 weight that you have I'm using. A 50 weight glide right now um, so it's not something that's insurmountable but these are the types of of spots in in projects that people do start talking about uh, the specialty needles smaller needles small thinner threads that that kind of stuff so that's just something to keep in mind but it, again I'm using just regular thread and I'm having just a, a fine time with it and um, I'm not worried about where where these are coming together so just something just for you to think about as you continue your journey. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll watch for the email. Okay. Did you get one of the sweatshirts? It is super cozy. <laughs> Jackie said, at what point do you tear off the papers, the seam allowance papers? So the seam allowance for this is this outside. So I, I do um, the bonus <laughs> extra amount um, and that the seam allowance for here is on here. You'll notice that it's not, um, it's not, equal on all the sides which uh i will i think this is the first pattern that i've had that happen and that's why i always line up my quarter inch with the the outside sew line where you'll actually be putting the blocks together so no matter what um you're you're putting your quarter inch seam allowance to the sew line that you'll be using not what the paper says because this would be too thick um and not that, that's not a quarter inch but over here is more uh, accurate on the quarter inch. Here's a little bit thick on a quarter inch. So uh, that's something to be aware of. And that's what I do with all patterns um, is line it up on the sew line to make sure that there's been no warping or anything of the paper. Uh, if you're lining it on the sew line, no matter what's happened to your paper, no matter what warping or whatever, if you line, up, line it up on that, that sew line, your quarter inch seam allowance will be the same across all the blocks that you put together. So I don't start ripping off the papers until, uh, so like with Mini Sculliver, I didn't rip any of the papers out until I had finished that whole uh, 16 block four by floor, floor by floor, four by four uh, layout. I kept all the papers on it. I kept the papers on Sail Away 2, but that I, 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 feel I really should have uh, taken them out because it was, those papers add so much weight and that was a, a 64 block in 8x8 and it was so heavy and so cumbersome to lift and m maneuver that I really should have started taking out um, like a, a f exterior papers as I went and, and just um, really made it easier on myself. <laughs> I really, I really gave myself a hard job, um, doing it that way. So like with Kraken, I'm going to be doing Kraken in four block, um, 
uh, quadrants like I'm doing with the color vortex and I will keep the papers for the outside of that quadrant to go to the next groupings uh, but any other papers I'll start removing early so that I'm cutting down on the weight of the project as I go if that makes sense Hey, Sally, good morning. Yeah, I think of it like, um, Ingrid, w like I never know when I go into a clothing store what I should pull together and what looks good. So if they have really cool looking mannequins <laughs> dressed up, I will usually buy what the mannequin is wearing. <laughs> so I, I figure giving them an example will at least give them something to to start with <laughs> oh del marie how's northern cali today I love how when I add these, uh, the background, it makes all of this pop even more. Uh, like the paper's white too, but it just, I don't know, what's the fabrics on it? It just looks so nice. Alright, so I'm going to trim this so that I can use it for the other side. That's awesome. Yeah, Minky's not not the easiest thing to use. They have some great tips on making it a little bit easier, but it's a fiddly fabric for sure. Bye, Kelly. Okay, have fun. Ooh, legit kit lion done in super bright colors. Nice. Oh, that sounds wonderfully, like, cozy, Delmarie. A bit of a, a winter chill or a fall chill in the air, and you're inside working on the village green. What colorway of village green? Doing the field test back here to make sure that it covers this triangle. And I can tell from how much of the fabric is coming out this way that we're good all the way up here. And I can tell how much of the fabric is on this side that we're good for oh, like half an inch past the line there. So I'm happy with that. Let me get this one sewn up.
corn flour. Oh yeah, tangled dust. I I like the the black too. Like it really gives it some cool definition. Enamel is a good way to to think of it. the two sides now on to some more framing of the black enamel like stripe It's Monday again tomorrow, so it's back to work again tomorrow. I I love having the holiday on a Friday. That's kind of cool. Um, but now I'm like, oh, back to work again. Back to the grind. Good morning. Hi, June Hansen. Beverly. Shelly says she needs to start on her two color quilt challenge. Uh, put it together. Not sure what to do. I need to figure out what is going to be the most efficient way of doing <laughs> what I want to do. That's my sticking point right now. It's how to do it. Smarter, not harder. <laughs> oh, Sally, you're off for the whole week of Thanksgiving. Oh, yay. Right, Tangle Test? <laughs> you took a day. Now, now, now it's going to feel like three times the work for having taken off. Uh, 
I feel like that's amplified if you if you're taking a vacation because the the holiday at least everybody is off too. But you take a vacation and you come you come home and back to like a million emails. <laughs> How dare you and and have been assigned tasks that you weren't there to be a part of the conversation for. Well, if they started out as shears, I would say they're scissors now because I do all the things people say not to do with these scissors. <laughs> I cut paper with them. I cut fabric. I cut open my mail today. <laughs> uh, yeah, these scissors get a workout. I'm an equal opportunity scissor. <laughs> Two color quilts at the spa. Nice. Oh, fun, Jacqueline. That's that's fun. Double up on some stuff. my my scissors that are down here for all the FPPing that I'm doing. So I will cut papers and, and the fabrics and the threads and the whatever's that hanging around with these scissors while I'm doing um, FPPing. But if I'm cutting, if, if I'm working with, uh, you know, larger swatches, I do have like the fabric shears that I work with. Oh, they're actually here. I think they're, yeah, they're Tula, the Tula ones. These are, have only ever touched fabric, but I'm not as precious with all, all scissors. I've got my workhorses that are kind of multi-level, and then I've got my little prima donnas <laughs> that only do certain things. My rotary cutters, though, I replace those blades so often. I, I whatever is what they will tackle anything that's in their way and then i'll just replace the blade yeah you <laughs> take those says you got to have the sacrificial scissors the ones that uh should your family uh, decide to hijack them to use them for Lord knows what. Uh, it, it, they're the pair that you know, they, like they they offer themselves up in tribute, like Hunger Games. That's that's the pair that <laughs> takes one for the team. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> screwdrivers to pry things open with. Hey, when a job needs to be done, one thick enough oh yeah we're good that's good and plenty long enough plenty wide enough almost done with this one fold this back I'm gonna cut this so um, I forgot to put the background color of the white higher up over the black strip um, and I don't want the shadow shadow to show up so I'm gonna trim back a little bit more of the black seam allowance so it doesn't show strip over I won't have the shadow showing of the darker color behind it I saw this week um, so I don't watch a lot of scripted TV or uh, shows that you know would have been impacted by the actors also striking um, but I saw that the actors have they're they're basically coming back to work now has have you all had shows that you watch impacted by that so you're excited to get them back to work <laughs> watch an awful lot of YouTube <laughs> and then listen to a lot of podcasts so not so much impacted by uh, writer or actor I'm pretty sure things like uh, well I know for sure the Great British Bake Off was recorded before any of that, so that wouldn't have been impacted. Alright. I don't think this is long enough. No. Do I have longer strips? Not the 
those are the same. There we go, that's longer. Oh, it's funny, Jackie. <laughs> movie for Wicked was. Oh, yeah, see, some stuff was impacted. Yeah, I don't watch a lot of shows. Hey, Fallon, how are you doing today? Fallon from So Be It Quilts. Oh, you guys should uh, test out. I'm, I'm super bad about remembering uh, that Nightbot is a thing. <laughs> But if you do like exclamation Fallon, ex exclamation Russ, exclamation Stephanie, Sean, Stephen, Stephen with a V, um, you should be supporting the folks, even though I'm sure most of you all already are, which is amazing. forget to remember. I always forget to remember. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't had cable in a lot of years. Oh, and Donnell, oh, so I, I've got to remember to add Friends, and yeah, God who sews. Wonder if I, well, I'm not gonna multitask. I'll mess something up if I try to multitask. But I'll, I'll try to remember today to go through. I know I have more friends who have their own sites than the last time I updated, so I need to to get on it. If you do exclamation commands, it also lets you know what the different commands are. There's so many moving parts with this whole YouTubing thing that you gotta like, be sure to check off your checklist. I always forget to remember. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Cutting it close down here on the end. That's all right. It'll work. It'll be just fine. Don't you hate it when you forget to remember? That was my Captain Obvious statement for the day. Yes, Fallon, this is the, the 4S collaboration Christmassy quilt. Well, then these colors. And then the setting triangles, because this will be set on point. The setting triangles have um, areas to add some more color to it. Uh, I'm excited about that. I might throw that in next weekend. Um, do some of the setting triangles to see how that looks. I haven't 
I haven't tested that out yet, so it'll be neat. That'll be good. I'm looking forward to lunch today <laughs> because my lunch is going to be uh, Lauren and I went up to the Catoctin Mountain Orchard the other day uh, I guess that was Friday uh, and they have the best I might have already talked about these I love them so very much they have the best summer sausages done in like wild boar and elk and venison and I don't know just I think there's another another one and I can't think of the animal that it is but uh, they are super yummy and so much fun water buffalo thank you um, so we got a, a collection of those and some uh, crackers from a bakery that was near the orchard and some cool mustard to go with it I live for like charcuterie is life <laughs> So that's going to be my lunch today is uh, to, to have those summer sausages on some crackers. If I were, if I had planned better, I would have had some grapes. Oh, although we could go get some cheese too um, and grab some grapes. But that's my kind of, my favorite kind of lunch. Nice and easy don't have to turn on an oven or anything and it's a uh, very yummy oh no Donnell. <laughs> two days in a row your sisters have a vendetta against you The way this block builds is very satisfying and like soothing. Kind of like get into a zone of It's like a like the log cabin where you're just kind of, you know, just going going around in a circle. That's what this is very much like and it's it's soothing. I knew it. So there we go. Now I'm going to trim her up and add her to the pile and start the next one. I might do these next two or three uh, in more of a uh, like assembly line chain, not really chain piecing because you know these these don't necessarily lend themselves to really good chain piecing with it stopping in the middle of the square, but uh, more of a, an assembly line. But I'll trim this beauty up and then I'll jump on that. Move everything. Oops, sorry about that. 
my chair arm slammed into my knee lift. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it too well. Hopefully, uh, this is where the seam allowance here is definitely wider than the quarter inch, but I line up my quarter inch from my ruler on that sew line, which is the dark line here is where I'll be sewing the next block to it, which would be a, a setting block, a setting corner, I'm pretty sure, um, triangle. So this is definitely wider than a quarter inch that I'll set on the sew line. And then everything will be uh, uniform because I'm, I'm doing that every single time. And I try to be, I try to pay a lot of attention uh, on how I'm putting my ruler quarter inch lines on the line of the sew line because it matters if you go a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left. That's going to impact your actual quarter inch. Uh, so I try to really pay attention to Am I getting those right in the center? Am I fudging a little bit to the right? Am I fudging a little bit to the left? Uh, to, to really keep them as close to perfectly the same. Um, however that quarter inch turns out. <laughs> if it turns out to be a scant quarter inch, a true quarter inch, or a fluffy quarter inch. <laughs> You're on tangle time. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I definitely, um, I really love these blocks. <laughs> Not that I don't love and love every project equally, like them my own children. But this one makes me really happy. <laughs> oh, I got a lot of fuzzies on it. beautiful. I've got threads and threads and threads and threads on it. And a little bit of cat hair, but that is a given in this house. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Add her to the pile. That's a growing. I think that's number seven. I don't know if, if you all were on mom and pop shop yesterday but Laura Lynn was working on binding something and she thought it was going to take not as much time as it ended up taking and I find that is so true of everything that I, I think oh that's easy it'll be super fast and I'm like oh that took me six hours <laughs> um I find that of of these blocks I only have seven done but I, I put in some good work all right so I have these three papers and I I put some of the colored strips together. So the red and the two greens for this one, red and the two greens for this one, and red and two greens for this one. So I have two more that I have these strips cut for, and then I'm gonna move into uh, the darker reds. That I have into strips. I just haven't cut them into their rectangles and the darker green ombre. So 
I'm going to see what I can get with like how many blocks I can get with, with all of those, um, at making sure that I have something left over to do the setting triangles and, and then see how big that is. I may have to um, go into another kind of red, but I'm not really happy with the other reds for Christmas feel of red. We'll see. We will see. All right, so yeah, I'm going to do this a little bit uh, assembly line-esque. So this is, for the center, I'm putting the red strip, which means it is going to be uh, facing downward, looking at the sew line, facing upward, um, from the finished block side. So it'll be like that. And then I will, didn't do my, my fold lines on these yet. Oh, I love my slide block too. Thanks for being here, Landa. Thanks, Terry, you too. Yeah, assembly line makes me feel one, like I'm in a kitchen again, because that's very much how kitchens run, and makes me feel very productive. some more black strips. I'm winging it, don't look. I'm working with a rotary cutter and no ruler. Nobody look. I don't want to freak anybody out. Shh, don't tell on me. <laughs> 
Ooh. Jackie, yay, go! Oh, what design would you love to see legit kids do? So, they did Starry Night. I think if they did, like, a whole, um, classic art, uh, like, collection, that would be a lot of fun, because I think the Scream would be fun. Um, Mona Lisa, of course, would be epic. like a seven wonders of the world of the ancient world collection that would be cool too i'd be down with that oh a dolphin would be cool I did David, so maybe the thinker. That would be fun. I know he said no Venus de Milo. David was to be cheeky. <laughs> lightest, the second lightest, and the darkest. Right. I think I'm going to number them so I remember what way they were for adding the greens. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, a seahorse would be great. A countryside view. They're, they uh, released Hazy Hills West. They're releasing Hazy Hills Central for a class only. Um, and then next year will be Hazy Hills East. But a nice countryside would be really pretty too. Like, uh, like getting into the different landscapes. The different types of landscapes of the United States would be would be cool, but that would be, mm. well, I guess landscapes could be universal. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't have to, you know, market it as U.S. landscapes. Cause like the, there are plains everywhere. There are mountains everywhere, that kind of stuff. Oh, a big red barn. That's so cute. Love these ideas. definitely have a thing for the sea because they have the turtle which is gorgeous all those colors the kraken so continuing with like a seahorse ocean and oceanscape the fish you know A whale would be cool, an orca.
they will definitely never run out of ideas. Ooh, Bob Ross, that would be fun. Happy little trees. Ooh, Donnell, where in Tennessee did you grow up? My dad grew up outside of outside of Nashville, but in a in Lawrence County. Small little little town. Oh, the father seahorse with babies. That would be so cute. Oh, Neptune would be fun. Ooh, like classic um, Greek and Roman gods would be neat. That would be so much fun. Nordic gods would be fun. Yeah, see, there is no lacking uh, for what to, to create. It's a matter of editing yourself and... <laughs> And getting getting something done. I'm excited about the things that are going are soon to be released. There's going to be some fun stuff happening. Trimming up the reds to add the, the black trim to this side. A rainbow fish would be cool. A lion fish would be insane. I don't know how they do that though. So many thin, thin lines like this. Oh, neat. What is pixel quilting? Oh, cool question. Not a silly question. Not at all. So pixel quilting, there are a couple of different folks out there doing pixel quilting. You may have seen uh, the Tilda um, flowers uh, done. I think that was, I was, was that with 10 sisters? So it is, uh, Shelly, do you know Minecraft and the, the, the pixelated uh, games, like how Mario Brothers used to be really pixelated? <laughs> Um, so it's, it's doing everything in small blocks. There are, um, like 10 sisters have, uh, panels that you can put your, your different sized, uh, squares from, you know, one inch finished to two, two inch finished, I think maybe three inch finished. I can't remember all of the sizes, but there are a couple of different companies that have those panels where you, you iron your squares down and then you sew it in a particular manner. Uh, and then you, you have your, your grid, but it, it is, uh, taking that pixelated picture where you can't really tell what it is up close. And then when you step back, you can tell that it's, um, like Santa Claus with the, the pixel quilt that, uh, 
pixel quilts and legit kits just did together. Um, it, it, you step back from it and it starts to take shape and you can figure, you can actually see what it is. But it's really about breaking the subject down into its um, like most noteworthy portion, proportions, like sections of what it is, so that when you step back, it all forms um, the shape of what you're trying to show <clears throat> with as little uh, detail as possible, because you're just doing it in these squares. if I've said it recently, but I really love this machine. <laughs> I love how fast it is. <laughs> oh, yep. The gods and goddesses. Somebody said goddesses and I forgot to go back and comment on that, but yes, absolutely. Athena was my favorite goddess, so I would love to see her, like, birthing forth from Zeus's skull, that would be cool. <laughs> Yes, Shelly, yes. So her, I have not seen how her pattern is written yet. It hasn't shipped. Well, actually, it has shipped, and it's supposed to be here um, tomorrow. So I should get Santa tomorrow, and I should get the African Prince for New York Beauty uh, so along tomorrow, too. Um, so I will be able to better see how she has written her, her pattern to... Um, teach you how to set up, but, but it is, uh, step by step. I know that it's step by step because she's talked about it on her, uh, Instagram. I saw her talking about it. So, um, oh, let me, uh, let me see if I can, without completely messing everything up. Oh, 
Oh, nope, not that one. <laughs> Although that one is a cute one, but that's not the one I wanted to show. Here we go. So, yeah, not <laughs> not the duck one, but uh, this this one is the flower basket. This is the Tilda one I was talking about. Very mosaic, yes, tangles s. That's that's a really good way of saying. It. But uh, where the the image is pixelated, hence pixel, uh, with these with these uh, different squares of color, and you get the the definition. Oh, sorry, kitty. By the the different shades of coloring that that happens in it. So this is the the tilde one that I was talking about, um, which I think is really pretty. Um, so that, I hope that helps make, uh, maybe make it a little clearer. I don't know, um, how complicated I did. That was a free pattern. So I did download that pattern and, but I hadn't opened it and read it yet. Uh, so I'm not sure how complicated that is, but that definitely did it with those panels. So you're really just cutting out all of those squares and ironing because it's a fusible pa panel ironing the squares onto the panel um, you're not having to sew hundreds of two and a half inch squares together in rows and then put them together but the, those panels offer uh, a different way of uh, building your your quilt top I did just get a message pop up that uh, YouTube was having some buffering problems. So if I went wonky there for a little bit, I apologize, but it's back to saying the connection is excellent. So hopefully we're all good. Comcast is the devil <laughs> and sometimes doesn't like to cooperate. Yeah, that tilde one, that, that's a, a free pattern. I think it's still free on her site. And again, um, Ten Sisters does the, the grids. Quilt something does the grids. Uh, it has quilt in its name, the company, and I can't remember what it is. Uh, does the grids too. Fusible. You just cut out all the squares and you place them where the pattern says, and you're you're usually you're working in because um, the panels are, uh, you know, like ten squares across and twenty squares or fifteen squares down or something like that, um, and so you work up each panel uh, individually and then you sew the panels together, uh, which I think is a nice easy way like what I talk about with, with legit kits, you're just focusing on the one panel. Those are all only squares you have to worry about. It makes it easier to digest. All right, so let's see. One, it's this one, so that's that group. Was it wonky a bit? Sorry about that. Oh, Shelly, we'll work on the the Santa together too. That'll that'll be a uh, a vlogmas uh, project that that I'll be working up. And then Iris is coming out for legit kits block of the month. We'll be working on that too. No rest for the wicked.
that long, long list. I hear you, Fallon. Goodness gracious. I have my own pixel design that I have in my head. I might have talked about it on on Friday's live where uh, I'm saving up all these mushroom fabrics and I want to make a pixel quilt of a mushroom with all of the mushroom fabrics. But that's a long, long list. <laughs> what number was this one? Three. I like that I numbered them. This makes it much easier. Future you ever really pleased with what, what past you did? <laughs> Had this conversation with a friend earlier this week. Jumping in feet first is the most fun! <laughs> This one might be thick enough to use. That black strip might be thick enough to use in the next round. So I will hold on to that one. Oops, gotta slide it down a little bit. Oh, I did get the shrooms from, from Legit Kit, so I'll have to... I gotta finish BJ the Blue Jay. <laughs> gotta finish Kraken. Haven't started shrooms yet. Oh no, did I just do this one on five? I did this one on five. Nobody will ever know. So what I did was, oh, I did this one on five. Nope, I did this one on three, okay. All right. Did I do this one on four? Yes. Okay, so this one, I did on the five instead of the four. Is anybody going to know? No. 
the only reason why you guys are going to know is because you're watching me do it. And you'll see that it's uh, on the opposite side uh, from, from this. But it's all going in the same place. It'll just have a little bit of layer, like a, a difference in the layering at the bottom. But I don't even think you'll be able to see it. So not at all worried about it. Yeah, that, that's why I'm really excited about building blocks being free. I think that was a genius decision um, to, to allow folks to see the fun of a legit kit, uh, try it out with their own fabrics. The, the pattern only... um is a little like that's but, but you have to then you know source your own fabrics so that comes with its own trials and tribulations one two five yep exactly Snowflakes. This is going to be so pretty. All right. One, three, and two. All right, we'll do two next. I'm liking the assembly line where we're building three up nice and quickly. Three blocks at a time. Hey, Pat. Welcome and happy brunch. Was two, two.
that that strip might be close, but I, I might see if I can use it. I don't think any of the other ones are thick enough. Which one did I say this was? Three. Oh yeah, that that was the good like transition pattern to do. I think I was very pleased with them doing that, making that free for everybody. I was confused when it first happened because nobody knew that it was happening. <laughs> but um, I like that they did decide to do that. Kind of like the gateway drug <laughs> to legit kids. <laughs> Which one did you decide to go with, Fallon? I'm intrigued. I want to know which one you went with. Today is flying by. 12.40 already. That'll definitely be good. And the last. I think I'll bulk trim now on both sides. Now that the green is on both of them, I will iron back and trim all of it at once. Uh, ever since talking about the Billy Joel, Stevie Nicks concert last night, I've had Billy Joel songs in my head. I'd also been listening to Billy Joel on Friday as we went to the orchard and everything. The rose. I did. I'm not sure where where the rose is. I did the rose. I'm doing the the flower trio for my mom, um, and the rose was one of the ones. It was the first one I did of those three. You are going to have a lot of sections, a lot of little units to sew up. 
but it is so worth it. Let me see if I can actually reach it. It's in a frame, and before getting selected to become a, a certified instructor, I had visions of getting all three of them done for Christmas this year, um, and I was testing out frames. So, uh, don't be alarmed by, this is an old frame, so it's a little cracked up, but, oh, oh, so much lighting. Oh, dear. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to see it very well, but that's the rose. <laughs> so pretty. I'm never going to be able to get the other two done in time for Christmas for my mom, though. But maybe next year. Maybe I'll get them done in time for her birthday next year <laughs> instead of Christmas this year. Right. One, two, three. I'll go ahead and start trimming both sides. exactly sure what it what that was but I think a chipmunk just ran across our little deck outside the wildlife in the backyard drives the the youngest of our dogs insane <laughs> she wants to get them all she definitely has some you know hound in her and she wants to eliminate all of them <laughs> so okay some folks are gonna have the rose kit be there oh it moved fast hold on a second let me try to scroll back up rose one you have the rose kit yes new year's project I love it. Mother's Day and birthday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, oh, Pat the... Or Patty, sorry. I always say Pat and it's Patty. Okay. Um, the fabric for this 4, uh, 4S collaboration is by uh, V and Co. Uh, I think her name is Victoria Christensen. It's her ombres, but it's um, the ombre flurries. So that's that's what I'm using for this 4S collaboration. And it's going to match the table runner that we did this earlier this year in uh -oh, Walnut Port. Let's use this fabric too, which is why I knew this fabric was going to be beautiful. And now they'll get to be matchy. So I'm saving these bits for the setting triangles. Go. 
That's with the lighter green. You can see the snowflakes in there. This is more of a medium of the, the three greens that I'm working with. The middle ground green, I suppose. So I'll get these trimmed up and I don't know that I'll be able to start getting the um, outlining in the, the black, which is a black batik, just a, a black batik and the, the white is possibly Riley Blake, potentially. <laughs> just a Riley Blake solid. So much like I was talking about how Laura Lynn was saying, oh, binding took much longer than she thought, and it always takes longer than anticipating. I had lofty goals of potentially getting to my building blocks. <laughs> That's not going to happen today. But these were so fun to work on and to get a good... So these will, this will be 8, 9, and 10, which... I'm very excited about. There's the the darker green, the medium green, and the lighter green of the ombre. But that'll be good. Uh, that should give me a good idea, uh, at least of starting out to see what a layout might look like, depending on, on what I want to do. Uh, if I want to do a wall hanging or um, yeah, what I would, yeah, there's a couple of things swirling about in this noggin of, of what I might do to, to match and complement the table runner now. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. But yeah, um, I'm going to switch the cameras. There we go. And just spend a little bit of the last few minutes talking about what is next uh, for the, for this week. I will have, let me make sure I'm not missing, because not having something to do this Tuesday is weird, but I don't think we have anything to do this Tuesday. Uh, so I'll have the podcast on Thursday morning, which is a lot of fun, and I will show things like, uh, I will probably show off uh, Stephanie's w winter project box that came today. The, the postal services were so nice to me to do. I'm very excited about that. Um, I will uh, show off, you know, what I've done this week, things that I'll be doing, and then Saturday, oh, Saturday is, I have a one-year-old's birthday party to go to, so I'm going to party like a one-year-old, um, considering I have the sense of humor of a small child, it fits right in, and then I have a show out in Baltimore, so that's fun with the improv troupe, uh, then Sunday I'll be back. Yeah, my mind is rolling. Sunday, I'll be back on the live, probably working on the 4S challenge still because uh, I want to make sure I'm keeping up with everybody uh, and that I finish on time. <laughs> uh, so that'll be this Sunday. The things that are coming up are the Tuesday, the 21st, is the parade of finish uh, tops. Tops only. A lot of you are so wonderful and, and have already quilted your two color quilt challenge, which is amazing. I'm so excited for all of them, uh, but it will be the parade of those finishes. And then Stephanie and I will show off the how we decided to finish our quilts. So I'm very, very, very excited to see what Stephanie has chosen to do and then have the parade of everybody's finished tops. 
If you haven't finished your top, please do not stress out. We will continue sharing those on our channels um, in different ways past the end of the, the parade um, and, and within uh, Together We Sew, uh, the Facebook page. So please don't feel rushed or, or disappointed that you might not have finished. I rarely finish projects on time, so this is going to be a big accomplishment for me. <laughs> This in the cotton cuts, uh, being able to do it with you all has really kept me accountable and I very much appreciate that. Uh, we've got uh, the, with, with the ending of the two color quilt challenge, we've got the New York Beauty Challenge that's going to start in December as, as a part of our Vlogmas kickoff. Uh, and that'll be the first and third Tuesdays to keep the same flow as our two color quilt challenge. Uh, so the first night of sewing up a New York Beauty will be December 5th and then December 19th back on, uh, so the, December 5th on my channel, December 19th on Stephanie's and then in the new year it will go back to the odd months on my channel and even months on Stephanie's channel like we did for the two color quilt challenge. So I'm really looking forward to that. There's a, a, a little secret project that we'll be announcing for the for the new year in December. Uh, that'll be fun to do. We've got we've got a lot of stuff coming up. We've got some fun projects uh, in mind for Vlogmas for my Sunday lives, which I think will be fun, and I will uh, post about those early so that any patterns or any supplies that you might need to get together. You'll have plenty of time to do that if you want to sew along on, on Sunday with me for those things. Things like ornaments and maybe some stockings, like holiday-ish stuff. Uh, so I'm, I'm very much looking forward to doing that. Um, and uh, won't only be Christmassy types of things. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to, to find, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to find a a uh, couple of, of, I hate calling them stuffies, it sounds so weird, but like a uh, uh, 3D project where it will be filled with, with polyfill <laughs> for <laughs> more holiday uh, uh, things to do on a, on a live on Sunday. So that is what's coming up. I am really happy that you all were here with me today. I appreciate you all chitty chatting and talking about the projects you're working on. It was fun to talk about uh, different things that legit kits could, could work on. I think everybody had really great ideas and I would love to see them all come to fruition. Again, no, no like limit to the, the types of, pro of, of images that they could, they could do for sure. Um, yeah, it's busy. It is so fun. It's, I, I keep thinking, gosh, this just started as just such a, on a whim kind of during the pandemic thing to do. And it's, it's become quite the fun adventure and I am very happy to get to share it with everybody. So yeah, uh, as always, please, 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 everybody that uh, is here and is, has been talking, uh, Fallon with So Be It Quilts has her channel. Check her out if you haven't. St Quilting with Stephanie Stitches. Stephanie, <coughs> check her channel out if you haven't. I, I'm pretty sure you all have. Donnell from Donnell Stitchery. Uh, Russ from Quilt Meets World. We've talked about Steven of Bland Designs and the Idiot Quilter today. And we talked about Sean with The Guy Who Sews. So please be sure, if I've missed anybody, I apologize. I have a sieve for a brain, so <laughs> the memory is shot. Uh, but definitely support everyone that comes and supports me here. It means so much to me that you are also supporting their channels. Um, and thank you to like Ingrid and Russ and Stephanie for being moderators. That is so helpful because I do sometimes miss comments uh, and they help keep me straight <laughs> and, and paying attention to what I should be paying attention to. So just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Yes. Everybody have a great work week. Boo. <laughs> For those that have to go back. Uh, and yeah, thank you all so much. Have a fantastic Sunday and I will see you guys uh, Thursday morning. All right. Thanks everybody.
Oh, if I can get it to turn off. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>